Hello and welcome to another episode of The Power Principles. I'm Khaisan Mohale and today we're going to be talking about how to win in the game of business in 2020. So we've gotten into a new year, you know, people are excited, people are saying this is my year, people have made plans and resolutions and have gone out there and put things and their intentions out into the world. But the funny thing is, statistics now tell us that 60% of us actually make resolutions and out of those people that actually do make and admit to making resolutions only 8% successfully achieve them right globally our statistics tell us that there's about 582 million entrepreneurs and business owners worldwide and we now know in 2018 only 9% of business owners were able to make revenues of a million dollars or more so what is the key to getting to that 10, top 10%, 10 even that top 1%, entrepreneurs that are making 10, $100 million and above per annum? That's what we want to talk about today and I truly believe that there's really just four simple steps that we need to take. I realized that you only need to do four important things and I believe it will help you as well to make this the year, your business, your career, your professional career and business becomes a success okay so step number one we're going to be talking about stating your objective you need to set a very clear target for what you want to achieve for example you may want to say okay i want to increase my revenues by 20 percent per month this year or you might say hey i want to double my revenues and sales last year i made five hundred thousand. this year i want to make a million last year i made 5 million this year I want to make 7.5 million you know you told my say hey I want to increase my sales by 30 percent 50 80 percent 100 percent you need to set a very clear target and objective now your target and objective needs to be specific it needs to be measurable and it needs to have a deadline so saying something like I want more customers or I want more cash or I want more money is not going to work you got to have to say something that is specific and also has a deadline so for example you want to make one million dollars in the next 12 months that's a specific goal measurable and also has a time deadline of 12 months right so let's work with an example here let's talk about somebody let's say mr jumbo and mr jumbo has a jumbo hardware store and he sees that last year he made one million dollars so this year he says you know what i want to double that so he, his goal his objective would be i want to make two million dollars in the next 12 months okay so that is step one a very clear objective that is specific measurable and has a time deadline step number two is about diagnosing what's working and looking for your 20 percent you need to look through your assets your products your services you need to look at your sales processes and your conversions and find out what's currently working, what's currently bringing in the most amount of money and then focus on your 20% multiplier. So you've probably heard of this principle called the Pareto principle, which is the 80-20 rule, some people call it, coined by the Italian economist Wilfredo Pareto. And this rule basically states that 80% of your results come from 20% of your activities or 20% of your efforts. 20% of your efforts bring 80% of your results. So in business and in layman's terms, what that means is that most of your sales are coming from a few of your products and services. Most of your customers are coming from a few of your activities that you're actually doing. Most of your revenues are coming from a few sales processes or a few um, activity that you're actually doing so what you want to do is you want to start looking and diagnosing to say okay what how much did I make last year and where did most of my sales come in you may have a very big business and you may have many many different products that you're actually selling so let's take the hardware store example mr. jumbo at the jumbo hardware store looks at his facts and figures last year he made a million dollars and he finds out after careful scrutinization that 80% of his sales came from selling cement, bags of cement. 
sending them to suppliers in bulk. And so what he found out that 80% of all his revenue came from that and the rest of the 20% came from his other materials, fixtures, bathroom, fixtures, equipment, tiles, and other merchandise. So once he's diagnosed and sees, okay, look at what's working, actually most of my sales come from the cement bags, right? And this is important, especially when we go into step three. So for you, look at your business, look at what you're doing. What products and services keep on bringing the most sales? There's always one or two or three. There's a few that's always bringing in. Maybe you have a business that isn't selling that many. You got one product or two products. Look at your sales processes. What um, sales method is the one that you're using out of multiple? Maybe you're selling online and offline. You're doing advertising on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, on Instagram. Maybe you're also doing offline on billboards, you're advertising on television, news ma newspapers and magazines, radio slots, for example. Look at all your processes and how you're trying to get customers and turn them into sales and, and, and find out which one is bringing in the most sales because there's always going to be one that's bringing in the most because of this Pareto principle. Look at your customers, figure out which of the two is actually bringing. Is it customers that are buying, that many customers are buying more, or is it a few, is it more that the businesses that are buying more in bulk? And look at the businesses and decipher which few customers are buying from you. It's very important to diagnose with what's already working because in step three, we want to start putting fire on that. We don't want to recreate the system. All we want to do is take what's already working and actually create and add that fire and add that and put that petrol on that fire. Okay, now we're going to go into step number three. Step number three, we're talking about selecting your one thing. I get this concept from a book called The One Thing, which I really strongly recommend. Every single entrepreneur and leader and executive needs to read this book. And in this book, the authors argue that success is sequential and not simultaneous. You actually produce more and make more by doing less. So what you want to do is, step one, we stated our objective. Okay. I want to make $2 million in the next 12 months. Step two, you've diagnosed what's already working and you've looked for your 20%. So you said, okay, fine. Mr. Jumbo checked it out, checked it out and said, hey, my cement bags are bringing in 80% of my sales. Then we go into step three, selecting your one thing. It's as simple as just putting more petrol on what's already working and channeling your focus. This is, if you think about how a magnifying turns sun rays into a fire. Until something focuses those rays, that sun will always be just beating on the ground. But if there's a focus, like a magnifying glass, in one spot, that turns into a fire, that can turn into a gigantic felt fire. In the same way, you need to look at this one thing, at the most two, but I really recommend you look, choose one thing that's gonna be your focus for the year, this one product that's bringing in more sales, this one sales process that's bringing in, is it online or offline? If it's online, is it a specific medium or a specific platform? Is it Facebook ads? Is it YouTube? Is it Instagram? Is it Twitter? Or is it other platforms? You know, is it guest blogging? Whatever it is, and you say, this is gonna be my main focus because it's already brought that much more customers and money into my business. You look at your customers, Who's buying from you? Is it men? Is it women? Is it elderly? Is it a younger demographic? And you say, older demographics, men of between 40 and 55 years old, and these are the guys who buy the most from me. And you just keep on saying, okay, this year I'm gonna focus on these people. This year I'm gonna keep selling to these people. And if you make this your focus for the year, then that's when you're gonna start seeing gigantic leaps in your sale. It doesn't mean that you leave out all your other sales processes. It doesn't mean that you leave out all your other customers or products and services. What it does mean is that you have a focus for most of what you'll be spending your time for that year. 80% of your time should be spent on your one thing. So 80% of your time should be spent on your one thing. And if possible, cut off the rest. Cut off the rest. I remember the story of how 
Steve Jobs came back after leaving Apple for 10 years and he cut down, Apple had over a hundred different products and he cut them down to about, it was less than 20. And that's when Apple started seeing changes again. It's about cutting down, you actually earn more by doing less and focusing on a few products and a few processes. There's another example of an entrepreneur that I follow who uses, who had one product, a premium product and used one sales process and in two years grew his business to $65 million. He actually admitted to switching, cutting off every other thing. He didn't have a book. He didn't even have a blog. He didn't even have a YouTube channel. He literally just focused all of his energy on one sales process, one product, one type of customer. And his business exploded. And he actually had more free time and he had more money. So it's not really about doing a lot more things. Winning the game of business in 2020 is actually doing less. It's about focusing on what works and throwing all your energy, putting all the petrol on that. Finally, we have our final step, which is review, rinse, repeat. So you, after that, you go through, you've chosen the one thing and you start putting more gas on that and then you view the results, step four. You review it, if it's working, you just repeat it. If there's a glitch, maybe you can improve it, you tweak it, you tweak it. Mr. Jumbo figures out that he's gonna sell more bags of cement to businesses, to construction companies. And so he says, I'm just gonna make a list of 100 construction companies all around the country and internationally, and I'm just gonna market to them. I'm just gonna sell to them. That's all he's doing. Using the same method of how he got his current customers, and doing that, he reviews and sees, is this working? Can I make it better? And he just continues to do that. He just rinses and makes it better. He makes it more efficient. How could he even be of even more service to these construction companies? If you do these four steps, I guarantee you, you will start to see huge improvements in the way your company makes its revenues and also how it succeeds. Thank you for watching this episode. I hope you really found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, share this, and also leave a comment. I read every single comment. And if you're a serious entrepreneur who wants to take your business to the next level, I have a free gift for you. Head on over to Haisang Consulting. Com. I have a gift where it shows you a marketing system to really draw new paying clients and also increase your profits. Head on over to Haisang Consulting.com. I'll see you there now.